Hey, what's up? This is Trip and Chef. Welcome to Soma Part 10. Uh, where we last left off, I was finding the coordinates for the um, Zeppelin to come in. Uh, it was really quick. You missed nothing. Found it, put it in the computer system. Computer system sent it my way. Now we're going to get on this bad boy. Thanks, Simon. Don't be mad, okay? We really needed that kill. Oh, yeah, I had to put down we, a computer, but there was that one floating around. All I did was shoot it. It went down. I took the chip and put it in kill. here. So not, you guys literally missed but nothing. No biggie. Case, Jared's be being a pussy because, uh, you know, it's the end of the world talking. and he still feels like being human and all I mean, this he shit. What he sincere. doesn't get is that none of it's left, but Present. it's whatever. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. And the whole time, she's being a non-supportive bitch. Maybe we'll get a nice scenic fucking view of what's going on here finally. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> hey, some loading. Sea particles everywhere. You're Can really you... good back oh, there, right. Simon. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Beta. Then we just head inside, grab the Dunbat, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long the way. The Dunbat. We don't have to worry, though, because with the Dunbat, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. Oh, what? now you want to talk. Oh, sorry. I, I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. Make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cool? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. <laughs> Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. Oh, yeah. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah. The warden unit? The WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside Theta, okay? See you soon. Well, that was some shit. I mean, there was some real psychology there. I mean, that that's pretty much how your mind works, so... 
if your mind was in a chip and just automatically reactivated, your brain is just going to tell you what you've been doing for the past. I mean, with this guy's case, like 28 years before this happened to him. So, I mean, in, in a way, this the storytelling in this game, by far, is amazing. You know, it's like reading a great science fiction novel, except you get to interact and, you know what I mean? So, as far as the story's going, it's like some awesome shit's going down. Really mind-bending stuff. Ooh, let's take a listen. Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Uh-oh. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The valve sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Dead. Emma, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. Mistake. We're gonna hear this guy fucking kill everybody. Look at that shit. All over the place. This can't be good. That's everything, right? Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Am I already here? Hello? Who is that? Mark? No. We haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh. I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Oh. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned. Like the others. And then I killed myself. Oh. At least I think so. Fuck. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? Mm -hmm. One human, one living skin in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Robin, I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. Oh my god. See you later. Will do. I'll be going now. Let me know if you find anyone else. Oh, you, you, oh, what an asshole! Should I? Let me go. I'm sorry. That one was a mercy killing. I'm sorry. If you guys don't agree with it, comment below. <laughs> um. That was no, I had to do that, man. That's not right. This fucker lied to her and shit. If he's not gonna tell her, then I gotta do it. I really don't wanna do it, but I have to. Oh, well, that was pretty cool.
Uh, so I'm guessing this is Theta. Theta's looking pretty badass. But we gotta remember, we're gonna be seeing a bunch of dead folks soon. Cameras are a go. Let's fucking use the Omni tool. Whoa! So we know Catherine's name is Chun. Or Chan. Pretty sure it's Chun. That's awesome. Because, like, I've been trying to read what's on that Omni tool and I couldn't read it, but, like, the next time you see it, like, at the beginning it was like, oh, like, Lisa, whatever, or something was helping you. For, like, the computer voice and shit. So, like,. I think Catherine, I see Chun on there, so I think it's saying Catherine, but that organic matter, the, uh, wow, is on her chip, so I'm a little confused by that still. Loading. You know, like, uh... Hello? Anyone there? See how it says Chun or Chan? I couldn't read it. Access denied. We gotta upgrade this bitch. That shit's just like fucking disgusting. Aha! Uh -huh. We gotta... Aha! Uh -huh. How you like that? How you, how you like that? That's how you get in there. Fucking love that sound. We're here? We're here! Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air. Good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe, fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of wow. years. Wow. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Over... Heroic. Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat. Ah, oh, damn it. And it's oh, gone. It's too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. Great. It? It's we don't write these things down type of bat. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Fuck. Get out of my way. Computers don't need to sit down. Oh. Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Seriously. Why abandon the gate? In the habitat? 
That's so strange. I don't like this at all. No shit. Alright, power's coming back on. Now let's see some shit. So we, we found out, like, the, uh... The Ark is gonna be, like, a giant virtual reality Earth, except better because it's, everything's gonna be regulated tem temperature-wise. You're gonna be, you know... So... What comes about this is that the storage... it's The Ark is just gonna be there because it has solar panels. Uh, if you miss that part, so that powering the system, these guys could last forever. Now that leaves with a lot of questions of what if people are in there for so long that they go crazy, or do they start having? Can you have kids and die off in there when you feel like it? Like there's got to be some sort of regulated system like that set up because lasting thousands of years alive would surely be, be if anything, not knowing what you've been through in life. It would, it would bore you to death. But whatever it is here, this is not going to be good on my way out. We gotta stay quiet. Fuck. It's here. It's here. Well, we're going to pause it here, and I'm going to leave you guys off. Uh, we're running about 17 minutes, so definitely don't want to run too long. Until then, we'll, uh, we'll try to escape whatever the fuck that is.